Hello everyone, Nadim here with PC Solutions Net. Today I'm going to talk about something very different. I, I don't normally get too much out of the technology realm, but uh, this time uh, I'm going to have some fun. So, um, hey, you know, last uh, last week uh, with the chat with Mac, um, if you had a chance to uh, view that, uh, we talked a little bit about um, how more and more small businesses are being required to follow certain guidelines um, compliance uh, so basically a lot of different compliance uh, standards are coming up they're being mandated either at the state level or federal level um, in Europe there's GDPR and then now different states are coming up with different uh, compliance thresholds that that small business need to meet uh, and they're being enforced as well. Uh, so keeping this in mind, you know, one of the one of the things that kind of came up with, um, you know, my day to day business is uh, how can small business protect themselves when it comes to some of these compliance standards and and breaches and all these security issues that have really skyrocketed within the last few months. So uh, you know, as I as I had mentioned in the in the video with uh, uh, with Mac uh, last Friday, I was working on um, a company with uh, you know coming up with some sort of a plan for small business uh, where we can not only uh, protect the small business from uh, breaches and security issues, but as well as uh, some you know natural disasters and disasters in general. So and and it's it's not really a technology product. It's more of a um, financial product that that we have kind of come up with. So so we we do have a deal. Uh, the underwriter is Chubb, uh, and you may have heard of uh, Chubb. It's uh, one of the one of the well known the top uh, companies uh, offering insurance in the uh, uh, security you know in the security space. Uh, the good thing about Chubb is um that they uh they pay out really well so in other words they're not always looking like some other carriers they're not always looking to come up with an excuse to not pay uh they uh, actually pay out and and so much so that you know uh, uh i was i was talking to with one of our customers and 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 the vp said that the owner of the business his personal insurance is through chubb because he trusts Chubb so much that they're going to pay. Uh, he would pay uh, a, a few thousand extra in premium just so he can have Chubb. So it's a, it's a real good carrier. Now, uh, why insurance and why now? So here's the bottom line. Right now, 24% of SMBs are aware of having some sort of a cyber attack in the past 12 months. Now, uh, the attack happened. Uh, there may not be a, a repercussion from that. There may not have been an actual breach, uh, but nevertheless, 24% of SMBs uh, are aware of an attack happening. Now, not to mention there are a lot of SMBs out there that are not even aware that an attack happened. So, in this day and age, um, with all these compliance standards coming down, being enforced um, in, in the SMB space, um, technology getting more and more complex, it just makes good sense to have some sort of insurance in place. The problem with insurance historically, with cyber insurance um, has been, or technology insurance in general, has been that these carriers have because technology is so complex these carriers have so many different ways to get out of not paying when somebody files a claim and this has happened so many times over the last few years uh, you know some of the major breaches that occurred the uh, insurance people did not pay and the reason why these claims get denied the biggest reason is because the customer said they were in compliance of certain things while they were not. So uh, if you have cyber insurance or technology insurance and you know your insurance provider sends you this 
Excel spreadsheet and you go through and you check, yes, you have this, yes, you have that. And uh, they don't they don't really pay much attention to that. They don't uh, really come and investigate and make sure that what you say is in place and enforced. Uh, so they just run by what you said. Uh, when it comes time for a claim, now they do their due diligence. And uh, if you said you had complex passwords uh, deployed uh, domain wide and you did not, there were one or two uh, users that did not have complex passwords, that, that's an easy denial. So the, that part of the equation is, uh, that, that's what was missing in the equation, is the compliance piece of it. So, you, you know, you are filling out this form for the insurance people, but can you really uh, uh, be in compliance with that so that when it comes time to, for, uh, you know, to file a claim, it gets paid out? And that's the piece we are going to fix. So our relationship now with this insurance provider, what's going to happen is we are going to do a routine monthly compliance check. So we're going to make sure that that form, you know, that Excel form that, you know, these companies use to send out, you're not going to see that form. Our application is going to run all these tests and send that information to the provider, to the insurance provider. And we're going to make sure that you are compliant. So if you are not compliant, we will, number one, uh, take care of the compliance or bring it to management that, hey, we need to do certain things to, to make you make sure you're compliant. And once you're compliant, we send this report out to the insurance company. So when it comes time for a claim, uh, it's going to be a, an easy thing to do. You know, uh, fighting your insurance provider when you are in the middle of a disaster is the last thing you want to do. So this way, you're always in compliance. This report every month will prove to us that you are in compliance and prove to the insurance provider that you're in compliance. And then the insurance provider can use this report as their due diligence to check if uh, you are eligible for a claim or not. So it's simple as that. So we've automated that one portion which is the compliance portion. Um, and, and so now we can run this report. Uh, once we verify a, an SMB is compliant, we can write up the insurance right there. Uh, we can get that confirmed and get you covered. Uh, we cover uh, cyber insurance, um, disasters, uh, you know, whether natural or man-made. And uh, also uh, you get access to a tech team for forensic analysis uh, after the breach has occurred. So after the incident, uh, the insurance provider has a team of experts who will do a forensic analysis on why the breach happened, how it happened, and how to prevent it in future. So, so these are some, just some of the things that, that we're doing. And um, if, if you haven't already, if we have not reached out to you, uh, you can call in uh, and, and you can call in to you know, either of our numbers. Just call in 281-880-0738. And uh, just say Mac. You can reach Mac. He can uh, uh, help you out. Uh, or you can say Nadim. You can reach me. Uh, I can help you out. Um, once this scan is done, and once we make sure that you are compliant through our compliance manager, then we can very easily write you up uh, on, on what type of coverage you want. So, so we are, we're going to have three big levels of coverage. So one is cyber uh, security or cyber insurance only. Uh, which is the lowest, uh, you know, lowest option we have. Then in the middle, we have uh, cyber insurance with uh, disaster insurance. Uh, so that's the middle part. And then the final part is cyber insurance with disaster insurance, plus your clients are covered as well. So what that means is if one of your clients files a claim against you, you don't have to worry about you know, lawyers and, and uh, you know, what you're going to do. The insurance company will handle that. They will deal with that. They will take care of that. So, uh, you know, three different levels, uh, the entry level cyber insurance, uh, the bronze level, uh, which is the mid level, 
uh, cyber insurance plus disaster insurance. And then the high end, uh, which uh, you know we'll call platinum, I guess. Uh, and that one is um, uh, cyber insurance, disaster insurance, and as well as insurance coverage for your clients. So you're protected from both angles, right? So uh, that's it, short and sweet today. Uh, we do have this in place. We are ready to uh, sign up. Uh, we we got I got the paperwork signed and everything in place uh, last week uh, towards the end of last week, and uh, so everything is in place. We are good to go, and um, uh, you know um, automation is the key here. Really, it's uh, you know that manual process of filling out spreadsheets. Uh, it just doesn't work. Uh, you, you know you have to automate wherever you can, and that's it. Uh, have a good one, folks, and uh, be safe out there.